All right, so in my last video where we talked about macros and we did like a little macro crash course, and if you haven't watched that, you should go watch that. You know, there's a, a, a link to that um, both in the description and in the video itself right now. Um, we I mentioned that we're going to use one of our predefined macros to help us create some really cool kind of phaser effects, and I'm really excited about this. So to get started, uh, we can kind of clear all this out and whatever. We're going to go into our import export menu. We are already at macros. I'm going to kind of go down here through all of these macros. And if you're a little confused as to what all of this is, um, you go watch my macro video. Yeah, should be helpful. Okay, why is, it, why is my mouse keep going up? It makes me sad. Okay, so there's this macro here import predefined phaser. All right, so let's just hit this. Let's hit import. Okie dokie, this is exciting. Uh, let's clear out of this, import predefined phaser. Uh, I'm gonna now go to my presets, I'm gonna open uh, an all, it's not gonna let me open, no it is, okay, there we go. Here we go, okie dokie. So I'm gonna just select uh, this column here. I'm now going to run this macro. Are you ready, here we go. Uh, some targets already exist, this is fine. Insert, ha, take a look at this. What is all about this? Oh my gosh. Okay, what just happened? So this macro essentially imports some predefined basic phasers um, for our fixtures here, which is kind of cool. So uh, to see this uh, in action, let's stomp this. And if you want to know how stomp works, I have a video about that. Okay, uh, let's kind of, let's just select our methods group here. You can see how we have some basic effects here. We have like a dim, uh, we have more of a snap, a dim like a strum. Now, here's the thing, now it's combining all of these, so it's kind of weird, so we can actually use our macro here, our full clear. Um, oh, never mind, we can't do that because that's not a full clear with a stomp, which is another macro you can make. You make full clear and then like stomp selection kind of thing. But we could do that, we could do like a chase, Right, and you'll notice these don't actually have phase values applied, so then you can go and manually um, add those as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Kind of cool, right? Okay, a couple others in here that are really, really helpful. Uh, we can put them at full so you can see we have like a, a red, white kind of thing, a blue, magenta, magenta green, magenta yellow, blue, red. They have like a circle thing here, which you'll notice this isn't like, um, you know, phased or whatever, but we, you can do that just in the phase here, right? If you do that um, and then uh, apply it, it will uh, allow you to phase. Why is it not working? I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Um, another thing that's really fun, one of my favorite macros in here is a flyout. If you don't know what a flyout is, you should, um, you should check that out. This is what this macro does. Uh, let's do a slow flyout. Okay. Let's actually do a slow inverted flyout. Here we go. Take a look at that. You get like a nice sweep. Actually, this is a little off. So, so you'll, you'll notice some of these predefined macros might be a little off because they're just general. They're not like for a specific fixture type. So a flyout essentially, if you don't know, is an effect where like all your fixtures turn on, go over the audience, right, typically, and then they like fade out as they reach the top. You can see the math is a little off here because these reach the top before snapping off, which means that it's like a little wonky. You don't usually want to see that. So you, you have to edit these effects a little bit. You can also see uh, how we have, we can do like a fast flight there. So some of the tilt stuff is off here, but you can see how this is really helpful and how this can get like, you, it can get you started um, with your, uh, with your programming and stuff like that. Uh, now we have like a thing applied there. We can also apply a phase there. Looks kind of cool, All right? So these are predefined macros that MA has created um, as kind of like this is what like the building blocks of your effects can be, right? You have your basic like tilts, pans, flyouts, um, a couple color and chase things. Play around with these. You can edit them. Uh, you can use these as your basis um, of start effects, which is really really helpful. Um, I kind of use these a lot in a lot of my programming. So check it out. Um, yeah, like this video so more people find it. Subscribe is always helpful. And I have some really exciting content coming in the new year. I won't be posting until then. Uh, so yeah, you know, have a great holiday, everyone. Uh, and then we're going to come back for some more MA and lighting fun uh, starting in 2022. So yeah, see you guys.